Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I would really appreciate it. And also go check out my Instagram. So today we're jumping back into the Disney series and I'm going to be starting out with Belle. Before I get started, I do want to mention that I currently have a giveaway going on. I'm going to link that video up above if you want to go check it out. I did a tutorial slash first impressions on the new ColourPop Main Squeeze palette and also talked about some of the um, Fourth Ray Beauty watermelon products as well, so you can go check that out. But at the beginning of that video, I do mention the giveaway. I'm giving away a Main Squeeze palette and the Birthday Treat Super Shock Shadow. So go check it out. All you gotta do is subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment on that video. Bonus if you go and follow me on Instagram. But yeah, all the details of that giveaway are in the description box of that video, but I also mentioned it in the video so you can get all that information there. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. We are going to be doing Belle first. And I have my brows done and I also have primer on and I've also put my MAC Paint Pot on my lids in the shade Painterly. So I'm a little bit ahead of the game tonight. Alright, so for Belle, we of course have Chip, which is going to easily be a good transition. And then we have Enchanted Rose, which is right there. And Beast, which is kind of a brown but it has like some glitter specks in it. We also have the Super Shock Shadow right here. Mine actually came without a sticker but I looked it up to like see which one I was missing and this one is called Be Our Guest so pretty easy to remember for sure but this is the shade. I have of course done swatches of this for my first impressions video on this collection which I will link up above if you want to go check it out but it is a very pretty kind of like maroonish purple so that's kind of the vibes I'm going to go with today. I went ahead and went with a yellow sweater even though we're in the summertime here um but just to kind of fill the vibes of Belle with her gold dress but again, I'm not turning myself into Belle. I'm just, this is just inspo. I'm sure if you're watching this video, then you've kind of followed along so far. So not really a point in me saying that. But I'm going to go ahead and dip into that chip shade to take into my crease. So we can go ahead and start this look. I'm also going to take the shade Ray from this palette. It is right there. It's kind of like a light gold shimmer shade. I'm gonna pop this in my inner corner and on my brow bone for this look. Oh yeah, I really like that for Belle. I feel like it's a really pretty light gold. Now I'm going to go into Beast, that brown shade I showed you guys a while ago, right up here. And I know it has like some glitter specks to it, but I'm going to try to run this shade just in my crease and like outer part of my eye. Now with my finger, I'm going to take Enchanted Rose. I'm going to pop this from right about here over. I'm going to go back into Beast and just add a little bit around that shade to blend it together. And now with the smaller side of this brush, which this is just a Lorac brush, I got this in one of their palettes. Then I'm going to take the smaller side of this brush and go back into Ray, that light gold shimmer, and I'm going to just kind of start from my inner corner and then just kind of feather it up just to make this look a little bit brighter because I didn't want to go too intense with Belle. I've always loved Beauty and the Beast, but a lot of the time now when I think of Beauty and the Beast and like Belle, well, 
I do think of the time where um, they released Beauty and the Beast back into theaters, the cartoon, but 3D, and I made my husband, we might have just been dating at the time, I don't know, we might have been married, but I made him go and watch it with me and he was like, seriously, we're gonna go watch the cartoon Beauty and the Beast in theaters, and we did. We did not go see the live action Beauty and the Beast in theaters, but we seen the cartoon in theaters. <laughs> I was excited about it. I actually wish they would do that more often with Disney movies, like classic Disney, that would be so exciting to go and see. Also, when I think of Belle now, I think of Desi Perkins. If you guys don't follow her on Instagram, for her birthday, her husband, Stephen, surprised her with a birthday party where he had everything planned out, like her outfit. He told everyone about it, what he was going to do. So kind of like a surprise birthday party, but she had no idea what was going on. And he literally had makeup by Ariel come over and like do glam makeup and everything and then he had I forgot who did her hair but someone came over and did her hair like all up like Belle and she wasn't allowed to like look at it or anything until the end and they brought in a Belle ball gown for her to wear and growing up she talked about like loving Belle and like wanting to be Belle and all this kind of stuff it was so sweet and like such an emotional and she put it they put it all throughout like her stories on her instagram and stuff she might have it on her highlights on her instagram but it was so sweet and just so pretty and like he dressed up like in a suit and stuff it was so cute okay so i do have the super shock shadow i'm actually gonna wait and i think i'm gonna do something with this on my lower lash line is what i'm thinking so i'm gonna go ahead and jump off here and do some glam makeup and then I'll be back. I'm gonna do a little rundown on what products I used. So I went in with my backlight priming filter from Becca um, earlier. On my brows, I have my brow definer from Anastasi Beverly Hills. The shade is taupe and NYX Clear Brow Gel. For foundation and concealer, actually, I went into L'Oreal. I'm wearing the Infallible Freshwear foundation. This is the shade 400 pearl and then for concealer It's the infallible full wear concealer and the shade porcelain. So I'm wearing those two today Laura Mercier translucent setting powder um, Ooh, For my face, it's been a minute since I've picked up this palette. This is the Ashley Tisdell illuminate cosmetics This is the glow up cool tone palette. So I used this shade right here to contour with um, GNO. I say contour because you guys know me. I like to just hit those points in my face and that's pretty much it. It's, an, it's like a bronzer contour everyday thing. For highlighter, I mixed both of those. So that's Bills and Turn Up. And then I went into my Seraphine Botanical Blush Happy Hibiscus. And setting spray I went ahead and threw on already and I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set. I felt like this was just Belle vibes. <laughs> Only thing that's left is I'm going to be using my Volumizing uh, BFF Mascara from Colourpop. But I also want to add a little bit of this Super Shock Shadow into the look. So I am going to put a little bit of this on my lower lash line, throw this on, and then... Lastly, of course, we have the Luxe Cream Lipstick in the shade Belle. And here I have the completed inspo look for Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I was so back and forth on who I wanted to do with Belle. And I thought about doing the Beast, but technically the Beast is not the villain in this situation. So I wanted to go ahead and do Gaston. And I have not filmed it yet, but I have some really fun ideas for it. So I'm just going to wing it. 
of course, Gaston is not a part of the Villains collection, but if you are excited to see my take on Gaston, then just keep on watching. And I am back and ready to do Gaston's look. I was a little like worried about doing this one just because I literally had no idea how I was going to do Gaston. I'm literally gonna take some inspiration from his shirt, which is like, I believe red. And then I think he has like a, almost like a mustard color like collar. So I'm gonna stick with like yellow and reds for this look, hence the red shirt, which is totally my husband's. <laughs> okay, so I did throw some Busy Gal Brow um, in my brows, the shade is taupe. Delectables Everything Balm is over that. And then some No Pore Blum Primer from Touch and Soul. Oh, I also went ahead and put Painterly MAC Paint Pot on my lids as well, so we are good to jump in. So I am gonna be jumping into the Misunderstood palette, but as you guys can see, there really isn't like much to go off in this palette for yellows or reds. Um, there is Pain and Panic right here, which I have swatched and looked at, but as you guys can see, like, don't get me wrong, like, it's a really pretty, like, yellowish shade, but I'm not sure if I want to go in with this one or not, just because if you guys have been watching the series and you've seen my Snow White and the Evil Queen week, then you guys may have seen this Jelly Mud Shadow called Cursed. And it's a really pretty like yellow shade as well. So I don't know, I'm kind of back and forth between those two. I think they're both really pretty. I also have my cream gel liner from ColourPop that's yellow in the shade Punch if I need to add a little bit more yellow to this look. So I am going to still be jumping to the Misunderstood palette for like my transition and crease and stuff like that, maybe even my brow bone, but I thought I would pull out the Main Squeeze palette, which I may have mentioned in the first part of this video that I am currently doing a giveaway on one of these palettes, so make sure you go check that video out. But since this is full of some red shades, especially this top home slice shade, I thought that would be really cool to use. Back in the day, I'm gonna tell you guys about this as I get started. I'm gonna go into, I think, Tragic. I think at this point that's just my go-to for this palette as a transition shade. But I'm gonna start putting this in my crease like usual and I say back in the day, but just a few years ago, um, I was doing blog posts on different makeup looks and I was doing a flower series and I went off of one flower and I did like a, a pretty bold eye look, but I had like a um, red wing. So I think I'm gonna do something like that for my Gaston look. I just love how easily and nicely these blend out. I'm gonna go ahead and take No Spots, which is the matte white shade, and I'm just gonna use this to kind of highlight that brow bone and maybe very inner corner too. I don't think I'm gonna worry about the inner corner. I think I'm mainly just gonna focus this on my brow bone just to bring a little bit of a highlight there. I'm gonna take Tragic again on that blender brush. Just kind of blend that up, cleaning up any lines that I created with that white shade. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Cursed um, Jelly Mutt Shadow and use this. So I'm going to, I think, take a brush just so that I can be a little precise. I'm gonna use the same like flat brush that I use for my highlight. This is just a crown brush. There's no like number or anything on it. I'm gonna use this to place the Jelly Mud shade. I'm gonna start like in the inner corner part and just work it along my lid. Stopping at about here, I think, is where I'm gonna stop, take it over. I'm gonna keep it just on my lid for now, but I may extend it up. Okay, so with my hooded eyes, I went ahead and brought it up more through here. When I look just forward, my eyes, you can see they're kind of like hooded, but more so like in the inner corner, I feel like. So if I drag that shade up, it just makes it pop more. And 
makes my eyes look less hooded. I am gonna be going back into my blender brush with the Tragic shade. I'm gonna take this around the edges of that jelly much just to blend them out, make it not so harsh. All right, now the fun part of doing the wing liner. So what I'm gonna do is, what I've done in the past with some looks, I usually like to put like a concealer down or a glitter glue, something like that. Since I am working with a metallic shade, I think I'm gonna go grab my glitter glue so I can put it down. So I'm literally just going to take a wing brush, wing brush, like an eyeshadow brush like this that's angled and go ahead and do like a wing with my glitter glue and then I go back over it with what shade I'm gonna use which is going to be the home slice shade and the main squeeze palette. Okay, and I am back. If you were wondering what glitter glue I used, I used my Too Faced glitter glue. And I went ahead and cleaned up around the edges and as you guys can tell, did some base makeup. Okay, so I used my ColourPop No Filter Stick. I'm in the shade Fair 07N. Shape Tape from Tarte in the shade Fair for my concealer. And then Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I also used a Too Faced bronzer. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil. And Anastasia Blush, I used the shade Ginger, which is the middle one in here. I went lightly with this one. It's very pigmented, but this is the Peachy Love Blush Trio. You guys know I love that orange shade, but I did just stick with that more reddish tint. And here we are. So I do feel like I need to... I don't know, I feel like I should do something with my lower lash line. But I also don't want to draw away from the red wing. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Tragic, which is that transition shade I used, and I'm going to put this along my lower lash line, just to add something there. I do still want to throw that cream gel liner in my waterline, so I'm going to do that real quick. Again, this is the shade Punch. Before I forget, for highlighter, I'm going to be mixing these two highlighters. I was going to pull a different one from my collection, but I was like, oh, I might as well try to stay as ColourPop as I can. So first, I'm going to take the Corella, the you idiots, you fools, you imbeciles, and I'm going to kind of pack this one on first just to kind of have like a base for my highlighter, but I did want a little bit of gold going on as well, so that's why I'm going to go into the fairest of all, which is the Evil Queen. It kind of has like a gold look to it, so I thought mixing the white and the gold together would play better with my fair skin. Here's the fairest of them all. It is definitely more of a light gold, but on me it still is a little much. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with some All Star Setting Spray from ColourPop. For mascara, I have Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. And then for my lips, I'm gonna be going into one of the lip stains from YSL. And this is the shade one. It's just like a little mini of their number one shade, which is a vibrant red. And this is my completed look for Gaston. 
I know it's a little bit out there and it definitely is completely just inspo from Gaston what I could work with while keeping the Princess X villain ordeal going on but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do feel kind of like it's a little glam Gaston moment <laughs> but yeah I really like the red wing liner. I need to do it more often because I love it so much. Or just colorful liner. It's so pretty. But the bold lip with it, I think, wraps it up really nicely. If you guys are liking this Disney series, make sure to continue to give me some thumbs up on these videos. And I cannot wait to show you guys next week's videos. I'm already planning them and I'm so excited about it. So make sure you guys tune in next Monday. I'm trying to get these up every Monday. But this one is falling short. So I don't know if this one will go up Monday or not. It may end up being on a Tuesday. But the other one will be back on Mondays as I continue this series out. There's only a few parts left, but I am super excited for the characters coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.